All right. Well, thanks everyone for tuning in. I guess we will get started. Uh, we're very lucky today to have Virginia Thomas here. She is employee number one, the business manager, and helps out with all things Cicerone and education. Um, today, we're going to be talking about how to get entire teams uh, trained up to the certified beer server level. Um, this is actually something that we are doing at Beer Menus, so i um, very excited to chat a bit more about the best way to do that. Um, if you have any questions, you'll notice on the YouTube page, there's a new uh, box on the right side where it says, say something. Um, Google just updated the way that they handle these, so they have a fancier way for you to ask questions on the right. Um, so if you have any questions along the way, please feel free to post any questions you have over there and we will get to all of them. Um, but yeah, without further ado, here is Virginia. Hello. Hi, Will. Thank you so much for the lovely introduction. As he mentioned, I've been with Cicerone for just over five years now, and it's kind of my specialty to help people figure out how to get their group certified and what works best for them. So I'm really hoping to be able to answer a lot of questions today and help a lot of people figure out the best way for their group. So the first thing that everyone needs to look at is the syllabus. So we have the syllabus online for free download for the certified beer server levels where you'd start. And my um, kind of rote line is that it's like a litmus test. If you look at it and it looks like it's written in another language or you, know, you think your staff doesn't understand most of these concepts, then you're gonna need to look at educational resources. If you take a look at it and you've been in the industry for quite a number of years, there's a good chance that you might feel pretty comfortable. So we do offer two attempts at the exam. So a lot of people will take that first one and kind of see how they do. And then if they're not successful, they know what to study and they can then attempt again. So that's a really good way to go. Uh, print out the syllabus, pass it around, ask how comfortable people feel with it. We have a 10 question practice exam on our website so you can get a kind of feel for our website, the questions, how we ask them, the verbiage, that kind of thing. So first two things, check out the 10 question sample exam and definitely check out the syllabus. So we're gonna make the assumption that you need some educational resources, some help to getting to that first level. So we have a lot of different options, kind of depends on your budget, where you are in the country, there's a lot of uh, ways to slice and dice it. So the biggest resource is Beer Savvy, which is our online e-learning program. It's actually an award-winning e-learning program, and it has different screens in it. It has um, quizzes and little practice tests and knowledge checks and videos. So we tried to make it pretty engaging. We tried to make it something that you can come and go from. It saves your tracking. Um, So it also has the Beer Styles profile cards in it where you can print them. So if you decide to do the online e-learning program, you can print out the cards. We also have those for sale. These are super popular. They even outstripped what we thought they would do as far as sales because, I mean, they're $14.95. You can throw them in your bag. You can have it behind the bar. It's a great resource. Every style that we test on at the certified beer server level is pictured in the appropriate glassware, and it has vital stats about each one. Um, if you're gonna you know, really get a gold star on studying, I would add some things to these, you know, areas that you, you know, have trouble with, or maybe add commercial examples available in your area, something like that. Um, I know a lot of people were pretty happy when we launched those because making flashcards by hand kind of sucks, especially nowadays. So yeah, this is a great way to start um, for studying styles, but we do have the principal version available in the Beer Savvy e-learning program. Um, if you are in certain locations, right now we're doing them in California, near Detroit, Chicago, and North Carolina, we have an in-person class. That's our Beer Savvy Boot Camp course. So whereas the online version takes about eight hours and you can come and go from it, it saves your progress, this is for people who really want to ask questions, they have their, their learning styles more compatible with an in-person class. So Beer Savvy Boot Camp, we taste through six different foundational beer styles during the course. We also taste out malts and talk about 
how their flavor affects the malt flavor affects the beer flavor ultimately um, we build a beer family tree from these six beer styles so really it's more of a overview and it gives you more of the vocabulary that you need to be able to talk about a lot of beer styles without necessarily tasting through all of them that we test on um, so that is a, a great option for some people we also have in-person training, so that's typically only if you have a group of 10 or more, if you're really wanting people to move on to the certified Cicerone level and really build that super strong knowledge base, then uh, we have our content director, Pat Fahey, fly out to your location and teach you for eight hours. So we typically do um, taste through about 14 different beer styles, so it's kind of a hybrid between the online and the in-person Beer Savvy Boot Camp, but eight hours is pretty intensive for most people at this level if you're just planning on going to certified beer server and that's your ultimate goal. I wouldn't necessarily recommend the on-site training, but definitely, definitely the profile cards. This and Beer Savvy have really changed how people study for the exam and kind of revolutionized it. The other resource is uh, Tasting Beer by Randy Mosier. So a lot of people already have that book. I know he's coming out with an update soon. It's pretty readily available. You can get it on Amazon pretty cheap. That is a great beer book in general, but it's incredible prep for a first level exam. It talks just enough about service and styles to get you where you need to be. But that way you kind of have options. You have a book, you have e-learning, or you have an in-person class, kind of multiple modalities for whatever works best for your time, your budget, and your location. So that's really the, the main points on how to get to certified beer server specifically. I want to answer questions if I can um, because I want to move on to how to study for certified Cicerone, but I know there's a lot more people out there going to CBS. Yeah, sure. So um, as we wait for questions to come in, one thing that I know I've heard from people a lot is um, as someone who's a, in a position to bring a team on to the certified beer server level, um, what would be the best way for me to do it without having my employees have to personally uh, pay for it? That's a great question. We do have bulk rates available. So you can email sales at cicerone.org or my email is virginia at cicerone.org. Conveniently, I answer both of those email addresses. So just shoot me over an email and we can talk about your group size. Our bulk rates start at 10 participants. That's for just the exam or for beer savvy. So you can also mix and match. That's one question I get sometimes. You know, maybe you have your GM, your beer buyer, a few other people on managerial staff, and you definitely want them to go on to certified Cicerone level, then I'd recommend starting them with Beer Savvy. Oftentimes they can pass along some of the things that they learned, and then that's a more budget-friendly way instead of getting Beer Savvy for every employee that you want to get certified. And it also develops sort of an educational program within the company. You know, people who are responsible and knowledge leaders who then get the training and can pass it along down. Um, again, with the on-site training, if you're going to go to Certified Cicerone, if you're going to have this person be developing education, that would be somebody that you might want to do the Certified Beer Server in-person training or the boot camp for. I, I always just recommend more training for the people who are going to be training other people or in any sort of managerial position. But yeah, bulk rates uh, start at 10 participants and it's about 5% off at that level, but if you're going to train a staff of 250 or more, absolutely ask for bulk rates because, you know, we do try to make it more advantageous cost-wise at the upper levels of purchase. So definitely, definitely. Great. Wanted... And yeah, when we, when we, uh, sorry to interrupt, when we signed up the whole team with Beer Menus, you gave us a code that they could each use that was very helpful. Um, so that's definitely something that I would, recommend everyone utilize it is a coupon code based system um, so the way it'll work is you buy depending on what you want let's just say 10 you buy 10 codes they don't expire so you can keep track of them on your my account page and you maybe only have eight people right now you can pass out codes to each person and they can use that to purchase the exam at no cost to them and then you have two codes sitting there for new hires turnover that kind of thing 
Um, so uh, another thing to mention is how you can show off your certification because if you're going to spend the time and the and energy and money to do this, you want to make sure that people know that you did that. So we do give you a pin and a patch every time after you pass. Um, so that's something that is often incorporated into uniforms, things like that. You also have a, on your My Account page, you can list your company and you can even link. So a lot of times a company I'll recommend, for instance, at Cicerone, we put Cicerone certification program. So if anyone looks for Cicerone in the company search field of our directory, everyone at the company who has any level of certification shows up on one page. And that's something that you can link to in promotional materials. That's something that you can talk about, you know, 100% of our sales staff is certified and, and linked to that. Um, it does show every certification level, but you can sort as well. So that's in a couple ways. Uh, we also do printable certificates for everyone, and it's a pretty common occurrence to go into a pretty decent beer bar and see, you know, the nice line of tap handles and a great list of certified beer server certificates on the wall. So um, when I see that, or even when I see a deck of flashcards behind the bar, kind of beam with pride that people are taking, you know, beer and beer education seriously. And from a consumer standpoint, even not as someone who works at Cicerone, that makes me feel like that bar is going to give me better beer service or they're going to have, you know, know when they clean their lines or how old this keg is or whatever the question I have is. Great. Um, well, yeah, I'm trying to think if you want to move on to the uh, certified sister on level, we can see um, if any other questions come in, in the meantime. Uh, first time using YouTube live with the new question set up and I'm not seeing any, but um, if you guys are having any difficulty with that, feel free to, to email me. It's just will at or you can also leave a comment. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I think we will just mm -hmm. move on. Absolutely. And I, again, if anyone has follow-up questions, wants to know, see the bulk rate sheet, any of that stuff, feel free to shoot me an email at sales at cicerone.org. Um, certified Cicerone is a lot more knowledge to get to, so we have a lot more kind of varying product set for that. Um, it can take up to two years to get to certified Cicerone level, where we say it's typically, you know, eight hours to six months for a certified beer server, depending on where you're coming from. Uh, just like with Certified Beer Server, the first step is check out the syllabus. So it's free, it's online, download it, check it out. A lot of people are pretty intimidated by it, but it is a comprehensive list on, of everything we test on. So just try to break it into sections. That's what we do with our materials, and it's a lot more digestible that way. Um, we do have a course book series that we started launching. I have a few of them here. So we have uh, German beer styles. There's British and Irish beer styles. That one's out of stock right now, but it should be back, we're hoping, by the end of October. Uh, then we have our Keeping and Serving Beer book, which I think is one of the more valuable ones. If you've ever tried to troubleshoot a draft system, you know how complicated that can be. And we even have a troubleshooting section in the back where it helps you to diagnose problems and kind of gives you a flow chart of, you know, oh no, the beer's pouring foamy, what do I do? First check this, then look for this. So that one's pretty invaluable for anybody who maybe hasn't had a lot of hands-on experience with keeping and serving beer or may not be able to do that. And then Brewing Process and Ingredients is our newest one, and that's going to be coming out very, very soon. It should be launching, I believe, by the end of this month, just in about a week. So that's the newest one. So definitely those books kind of help break it up. Um, they also include forum access. So you can talk to other people who are taking that same certified Cicerone exam and who are on that same chapter or section, has discussion questions. It even has a practice test. So we started to launch these before I actually took my certified Cicerone exam. And I wish that we'd had more books out at the time because that practice test was invaluable for me personally. I was able to check myself on German beer and know, okay, great, good on that, and then check myself on British and Irish and know I got to go back and study a little more. It probably was obvious to me because I don't really like British and Irish styles as much as I like German styles, but that's just something that's a nice little self-check. What do I need to brush up on? Can move on to the next section. Um, speaking of brewing process and ingredients, we also have a little malt tube here. So it comes with several malts and a webinar. So you can open it up and taste along with the webinar so you can really get a feel for the raw ingredient, at least one of them. <laughs> and then we also have our off-flavor kit. Now this, 
People tell me that studying for the certified CISERN exam, the two hardest parts are typically styles. There's just a lot of information there. Or doing the off flavor. So we worked with Aroxa, who we work with for all of our spikes for off flavors. And we created, this is our six-person version of an off flavor kit. So this is all the off flavors you're going to be tested on, the certified CISERN level. And each of these little pods is designed to go into a 12-ounce bottle of beer. So it makes it accessible for smaller groups. So if two ounces per person, this would be for six people, where normally a lot of sensory training stuff, it'll spike an entire liter of beer, and if there's a very small group, that's hard to use, and these are pretty expensive. So we're trying to make it nice and accessible. It comes with a webinar uh, that talks about how the flavors are formed, and it talks about how to prevent them. So that is pretty invaluable for most people when they're as a study tool for that exam. Um, we do actually have a new product that's launching, um, and I mentioned the flashcards earlier for certified beer server level, but this only has 39 styles for the certified beer server exam, and we're launching an expansion deck of these. So soon you'll be able to get the certified beer server deck, the certified Cicerone deck, or you could do both, and then you'll have flashcards for every style. So yeah, a lot less handwriting. I'm hoping people will be really happy with that. That's, that's some feedback that we've heard um, from people is that that's a product that they really, really want. So that's going to be... I'm going to conservatively say by the end of the year we'll have those cards out. I know they're definitely going to be around before the holidays. This is a great gift item, like stocking stuff or thing, because anybody who likes beer, 15 bucks, and then you can quiz them on it later. <laughs> hey, did you use that present I bought you? <laughs> Tell me all about Kolsch, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but we also have um, on-site training for certified Cicerone level. That's a little bit more intensive since it's more than eight hours. And we typically try to come out once a month for four months for eight hours each time. Uh, but again, if you're really trying to move forward or if you have anybody that you want in your group to go up to advanced Cicerone level or beyond, having that solid foundation of knowledge and being able to ask the questions and do the hands-on activities is pretty invaluable. Um, so I would definitely say if you're interested in on-site training for either level, email me at sales. Um, it is definitely not accessible to everyone. I know in our industry it's super hard to even get you know, out of the field for eight hours. Um, but we can break it up into like four hours one afternoon and four hours the next morning. We try to be pretty flexible. But the best option for most people is going to be the distance learning that you can do with the Road to Cicerone books. Definitely that. Um, bulk rates for certified Cicerone exam. We also have those. If you have a group of seven to ten that are ready to take that exam, we can schedule an exam for you if you have a venue and all these other things, but you can absolutely email us if you're interested in that. But we do try to put exams on the calendar about a year out. So we're even launching a new feature where you'll be able to search for exams in your area by location. So we're trying to make it pretty easy. Um, you know, we're not able to be everywhere all the time, but we do give over 120 certified Cicerone exams every year. Um, we've given them now in Canada, Scotland, Ireland, England, Australia, and South Korea, as well as the United States. So we're really trying to make it accessible and bring it to the people that need to take it. Um, it's kind of our objective that you won't have to travel more than maybe three hours from home. It'll be at least one opportunity during the year in most major markets. But if you don't see anything on the calendar in your area or you're curious about the next time we're, we're going to be coming by, just shoot us an email. We're happy to answer those questions. Um, I just pulled the numbers this morning and we're getting on to about 2,500 certified Cicerones. So it's still not a ton of people in the country that have that designation compared especially to the 75,000 certified beer servers that we have. So it is still something that is a distinct and rare achievement. So definitely pushing uh, management and anybody who is in a, a teaching role to that level is absolutely appropriate. So trying to think. Will, can you think of anything that is applicable to your group that I haven't touched on? Yeah, absolutely. Um, trying to think. Yeah, we, we certainly, among other reasons, um, we just wanted to have a company culture of beer experts. So that was the main reason why um, really out of the gates, we've been um, education from the Cicerone program. Um, we definitely saw it as a 
distinguishing point to try to get the entire team to level one um, as a right. starting point. But I think at this point, it's it's a big deal to have um, your entire staff at level one as definitely a starting point. Um, whether or not um, you get other members of your team to higher levels, I think uh, is is a little bit more of a commitment, but definitely something that I would recommend. Um, I went through the studying process for level two and luckily snuck by, but um, couldn't rec recommend it um, <laughs> more highly to anyone. Um, I, it, for me personally, it really helped uh, to feel more confident articulating uh, my descriptions of beers and to use more accurate language. And um, it's such a wide breadth of knowledge that you have to, to know for the exams. Um, it really makes you feel very um, well balanced with your knowledge of beer. Yeah. Um, well rounded. Well rounded, yeah. So I, uh, when I was preparing for level two, I actually went to the Cicerone headquarters for a class um, for the off flavor. Uh, All right, yeah. I remember Pat that Fahey, now. Um, could you tell us a bit more about the the breadth of classes that you guys offer at at your office? We actually offer the Beer Savvy Boot Camp, as I mentioned that one, but we do have an in-person off-flavor class as well. So that one, just like Beer Savvy Boot Camp, it's kind of limited locations based on where we have a proctor and where we see need and that kind of stuff. But we definitely have those in Chicago. So if you're ever looking for an excuse to come to town, check out the, the exam schedule as well as our class schedule because we'd love to have you into our office for either Beer Savvy Boot Camp or one of the off-flavors courses or a Road to Cicerone Boot Camp. So the off-flavor course, it's only about a two-hour class, but we do go over all six of the flavors on the certified Cicerone exam. So it's just kind of an in-person version of the kit that you can buy. So again, a distance version or an in-person version, depending on your learning style and your budget and that kind of thing. Um, obviously, it's just easier to show up and have us give you bad beer and talk about it than it is to actually orchestrate buying the beer and mixing the samples. But if you're not near one of the places that it's at, we are expanding that program and those classes. So if you want them in your area, absolutely reach out and I kind of tabulate all that in my head and, and figure out where the next place we should launch at is. And then the final um, on-site class that we have is our Road to Cicerone Boot Camp. That is an amazing class. It is five days here in Chicago. Um, unfortunately, we didn't have this product before I took the course, which was probably one of my biggest mistakes, was, <laughs> was taking the test before I helped out with the class. Um, five intensive days. So we meet from 10 to 6 every day, and we do 30-minute modules in this course. So we worked with a um, an, an educational consultant who really said, you know, people's intent, attention spans are pretty low nowadays, so we're really trying to keep it active, do hands-on activities after we lecture. You know, no one wants to sit there and hear someone drone on for hours and hours, even when it's about beer. So we did this where we have 30-minute modules and we mix up what we teach about every day and we go back and revisit the same topics to really make sure that you're absorbing the information. And like I said, a ton of it is hands-on. We do a practice tasting exam. We do a cheese and beer pairing exercise with Randy Mosier. We do a brewery tour. We do hands-on draft troubleshooting. We do almost, you name it, we do it. Um, so it's really everyone who's attended it has said that it really changed their their beer life. It changed how they looked at beer, their confidence level, and one of the most valuable things is that it tells you what you still need to know. <laughs> you can leave this intensive training and go, I really need to brush up on this, or I really know that, you know, keeping and serving is, is my weak point, whatever that might be. And knowing your weaknesses and being able to accommodate for those is one of the ways to get success on any exam. So that class is uh, in Chicago twice a year. The next one is going to be in February. The one after that will be in August. We do limit it to 24 spots. So um, it is a, a pricey course, but you are here for five days. Intensive course uh, includes breakfast and lunch every day, and it also includes two dinners that week. We do a, a kind of capstone event at the famous Hop Leaf here in Chicago where we do a multi-course beer and food pairing dinner. And... I know a lot of people have been to beer dinners before, but this is my favorite beer dinner I've ever been to, not just because I helped put it on, <laughs> but because 
really you're not limited. Uh, it's really what they think is best, what's in season, what you know will go super well together or be a very interesting pairing. They're not tied to one brewery, one beer style, or even one you know cuisine. So it's been a really fun experience. We've done this course now three times. So maybe more than that. <laughs> They tend to fly by, but yeah, we have two scheduled for next year. We still have spots available. So if by any means you can steal away to Chicago for five days, get your boss to pay for a little beer vacation of learning, it's it's a pretty awesome experience. And you don't even have to have deep dish pizza or malort if you don't want to, but you know, it's what you do in Chicago. <laughs> and you get to hang out with all the Cicerone folks. So I don't know if that's a detractor <laughs> or a good thing, but yeah, you get to ask us questions all week. Um, you get to, we always have people bring in their books for writing and we try to make it a real course. We don't have any more on-site offering right now. Uh, our staff is up to 14 now. So uh, we're doing all of it. <laughs> um, and we're trying to expand slowly those classes, but the Road to Cicero Boot Camp is just so, so intensive that it's one of those that we're going to keep, keep in the home office here in Chicago. So hopefully you can get here. If not, definitely the books, we cover the same topics and we do a lot of the same activities, but again, just a different kind of modality for people. Great. Well, you think if uh, I'm not seeing any other questions that have come in, um, yeah, I'll certainly keep you posted on, on how we do getting our team up to certified beer server level. Um, but thank you so much for all the information. Oh no, it's okay. cutting out a little. Are you oh, still there? there? Google. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Lag now, but my pleasure. Um, questions or wants like a custom prescription on what's best for their group? Just shoot me an email at sales at cicerone .org. Uh, Valuable information is where you're located and how big your staff is, and if you have any budget to work with. And I'd be more than happy to help you figure out the best for your group. All right, perfect. Well, thanks everyone for tuning in. Thanks, Virginia. It's really been really great. Thank you. Cheers, guys. All right, take care.